problem they said that the altitude of a right triangle is 7 cm less than the less than its base if the hypotenuse is 13 cm find the other two sides so this one is a right triangle so let us draw that right triangle so in this right triangle they have said that the altitude altitude is altitude is less 7 less than the its base so we don't know the base first of all they have given the hypotenuse as 13 cm so let us take so in the solution we will start we don't know the we don't know the base and altitude so we will take the base as x so let the base be x then the altitude will be then the altitude is x minus 7 why because 7 is less than its altitude so that's why we will take it as x minus 7 so here base is x and its altitude is x minus 7 now next <clears throat> we know the Pythagoras theorem so by Pythagoras theorem we can write by Pythagoras theorem by Pythagoras theorem so we know that hypotenuse is square hypotenuse is square is equals to opposite square plus adjacent square means altitude is square plus base is square so altitude is square altitude is square plus base is square so now next hypotenuse means here, is, here it is 13 so 13 is square is equals to altitude is x minus 7 whole square plus base is x x is square so here we can write 13 square means 169 is equals to x this is in the form of a minus b whole square so a minus b whole square means a square plus b square minus 2ab 2x into 7 plus x square then next 169 is equals to x square plus 7 7 is a 49 minus 2 7 is a 14 x so 14 x plus x square now add these two x squares so we will get 2 x square minus 14 x plus 49 and 169 is there so we will send this there so we will get 2x square minus 14x plus 49 minus 169 is equals to 0. So 2x square minus 14x plus 9 minus 9, 0. 6 minus 4, 2. And the minus sign is for bigger number. So we will take minus 120 is equals to 0. Now take 2 common. So 2 common means x square minus 2 7s are 14. 2 7s are 14 minus 2 6 are 12 is equals to 0. So this 2 will go in the denominator of in the denominator of 0. So 0 by anything means it will be 0. So x square minus 7x minus 60 is equals to 0. Now if we multiply first and last we will get minus 60x square. What is the middle value? Minus 7x. Now if we multiply these two values we should get 60 and if we add or subtract we should get minus 7x. So what will be the two numbers? So that are 12 and 5. When we subtract 12, uh, 5 from 12, we will get 7. So the, as the sign is minus, so we will take minus x, x. So in place of minus 7x, we can write minus 12x plus 5x. So here, here we can write x square, x square minus 12x plus 5x minus 60 is equals to 0. Now we can take out common x minus 12 plus 5 common. So x minus 5 12 is a 60 is equals to 0. We can take out x minus 12 common. x minus 12 common 
into x plus 5 common. So we will take this equal to 0, x minus 12 is equal to 0 and x plus 5 is equal to 0. So minus 12 goes to that side, x minus x is equal to 12 and x is equal to minus 5. As as any major is will not be negative so we will discard this so it will be discarded so discard and take this so therefore x is equals to 12 and we know that x minus 7 so x minus 7 means we can take 12 minus 7 is equals to 5 centimeter so these are the altitude and the other two sides are therefore the other two sides are 12 centimeter and 5 centimeter.